For being main characters, the Radiator Springs townies don't have that many diecast variations. However, Fillmore has quite a few and some of them are very interesting and unique because Fillmore is already a very unique car himself as he is one of the 1960 hippie vans. So now let's get on with today's suggestion video. Thank you The Car Lab for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it and I hope the video lives up to what you'd hoped it'd be. Now, I know I keep saying this, but truly, I will be opening suggestions rather soon. I just want to get a little bit more caught up because I have so many. And if you guys keep suggesting stuff now, it really won't come out for until like October because I have so many. But I will try to open them up rather soon. And if you like, you can still make a birthday request because those don't really matter anyway. But please let me know at least one month before your birthday. And now let's get on with the review here of all the variations of Fillmore from Mattel and a few other from other companies as well. Now I just wanted to show you guys my packaged Fillmores. I only have four, but they're worth noting. Here's the original 2006 Fillmore. Now this one's actually kind of rare because it only has one L. They released quite a few Fillmores with only one L in his name when it really should be two and then they corrected it later on. So this is one of the less common ones. Pretty nice art, long card. On the back here it gives a nice description about Fillmore. We can read it. Fillmore is a mellow micro bus, but he knows that oil is not the best source of energy. So he's out to make the world a better place, one tank of organic fuel at a time. And there you guys see a bunch of other 2006 cars. Now, here is the 2016 Fillmore, so you guys can see how the packaging has evolved over 10 years. I showed this in my collection video with Nitroy, but here's another example with Fillmore. As you can see, now they put two L's in his name there. And here is the Star Wars version of Fillmore as Yoda. Pretty sweet right here. I will be showing him loose, but just to see him in the package there. And here is just the 2015 Fillmore of the Pick Crew member Fillmore from the first movie. And those are all my Fillmores that I have in the package. Uh, I think it's a pretty nice collection, especially that uh, 2006 one. So now let's get on with all the Fillmores loose. We'll start with just the regular Fillmore. So here he is. This is actually the 2006 Fillmore that I got back when I was a five year old kid. And you can see that he's got a little chip on the front there, but otherwise he's in pretty good condition. I do want to buy a replacement though to kind of get some fresher paint. So now I know you guys have seen Fillmore many times before, so I'm just going to briefly go over all the decals on him. But as you can see, he's got a rainbow there, a purple peace sign, groovy, some more peace signs up here, and a bunch of other cool logos. He kind of reminds me of Chick Hicks for having all these logos. You can see that he has a love text right there and let's get a little bit closer up here on some of these logos there's a pink one right there that actually says flows va cafe recycle your oil some sort of no sign i'm not sure what that's crossing out there though peace sign another rainbow there on the back there's a bunch more his license plate reads 51237 i'm not sure if that has any significance i'm not really positive that it does though but up here we can see rs probably for radiator springs peace Save Mother Road, I Love Oil, and a bunch of other cool logos here. Support Organic ref, Reflowers, what does that say? Refiners, there it is. Uh, some other things here, I'm not really sure. 100% organic. I mean, you could probably spend all day looking at this through like a microscope to see what these actually say. There's open road up there, kind of the reference to the rainbow there. We can see it. Saturn, I would assume that's Saturn, the planet right there with a flower behind it, a peace sign right there, and a bunch of other cool things with the road here and a bunch of swirls and stuff. So Fillmore really is one of the most detailed cars and he's one of the only cars that has a front license plate, which again is 51237 and he has the Volkswagen logo right there, V. W. So that is a very, very cool. Now here's the lenticular version of regular Fillmore. Now the only reason I have this 
ugly film or that you can kind of see four eyes with is because it was a chase that came with these cool organic cans right here. They're hollow on the inside, but they're great display. I mean, you can see that they have all the cool designs on the side there. There's two of them together, and they're really nice scale. I really like them a lot. I'll put them with my Precision Series Fillmore when I open it up. Now, that's all the way back there, so I won't be showing the Precision Series Fillmore in this video because I haven't opened it up, but I will be reviewing it soon, and then that's where you'll see the video or the review of Precision Series Fillmore. So now here we have Pit Crew member Fillmore, which is basically the same as the regular Fillmore, except he has a little bit different expression there, and he's got the headband or the bandana on there, which is kind of like a rainbow design as well, and two Dynaco oil cans. So he's there supporting McQueen, and he's got some gas for him now. However, I don't believe Fillmore ever uses these in the movie because when McQueen stopped up, it was Sarge who came up and gassed them up. So I don't really think he actually used it. Now this might just be he was just putting them on there for decoration they could be empty I'm not really sure but it's definitely an interesting look and now it did not change at all from the 2015 release to this is the 2008 release which was his first release and he was re-released in 2009 and had some other releases as well so you guys can see basically the same now let's move on to the Christmas film more so I assume this kind of take uh, appeared between the events of Cars 1 and Cars 2, so that's why I'm showing it now. Now this one's a pretty sweet film where you can see that he's got a completely different expression. He's looking off to the left there, or our left, but it's actually his right. He's got the same license plate, obviously, and now his Christmas addition is that he's got this red band going all around with Christmas lights on it. So it's very nice. You can see that he's got red, blue, yellow lights. I don't believe he has any other color, but that's still pretty sweet. Very nicely detailed, and now all the way around here, he also has another ban banner on here that says On Earth. So peace on Earth, because that's in a Christmas song there. So very, very nice indeed, and here's just kind of where the bandana ends. Nice little red plastic there. Very nice indeed. This is one of my favorite versions of Fillmore, but not my favorite. We'll get to my favorite here in a moment. Now let's move on to Cars two film more. So here is the basic race team film war from Cars 2. Now he just has a different expression, a little bit kind of cleaner paint, a little bit more defined with the VW logo there. And obviously he's got the addition of the 95 flame logo right there, which all of the townies like Sarge, Guido, Luigi, Mater had in the beginning of the first Car, or the Cars 2 movie, not the first one, what am I talking about? But that's really the only difference there. Now, this guy actually has not been released that many times. You'd be surprised, he was only released just like a few times and then some box sets. But otherwise, not really too massively produced. But that's really all for him. Now, he did have a variation which was available in the two pack with Travel Wheels Lightning McQueen. Don't get confused with the two pack that had Fillmore with headset and then just regular World Grand Prix McQueen. They're very similar, but they kind of are a little bit different as well. Now, as you can see, this one here is a little bit more defined or a little line around the VW logo here, or the hood, I should say. Now, the main difference you can spot instantly is that he's looking off to the right rather just looking up or straight forward now I like this variation quite a bit you know it's pretty cool looking although not too significant at all but I'm glad that they changed it up for the two pack kind of motivates you to buy it a little bit more but I would have bought it anyways because it had the uh, travel wheels McQueen in it which I did not have and here we have the uh, pit crew member Fillmore, race team member Fillmore with headset. Again, this is basically the same, just different expression and obviously the addition of the headset there. So they really squeezed every variation they possibly could get out of Fillmore here. I mean, you got just without headset, you got with headset, you got different eye expression there. But, uh, I mean, they all did appear in the movie, so I'm glad that they did make them. So that's really the only variation between them. So those are all the variations from Cars 1 and Cars 2. We do have one more Mattel variation, which is the most recent one for the Radiator Springs 500 and a half short, which is Stanley Day's Fillmore. And yes, this is my favorite version of Fillmore, and I bet it's your favorite as well, or at least most of you guys, because... 
This is probably the most detailed film or they have ever released. I mean, just check this guy out. He's got just all this different paint here. It says Fillmore's brew on the side there because he's kind of got all these like beer cans or just pots, whatever you want to call them on the side here. He's got this huge like wooden shaft thing around him because of course they're celebrating, you know, Stanley. Hence the name Stanley Days Fillmore. His Top here is painted brown to kind of match the wooded look. Just an awesome detailing right here. I love it. He's got ropes, texturized. The, I guess you could say overhang right here is also a little bit texturized there with the wrinkles. And he's got most of his decals removed there. As you can see, it looks like that's a clean film or inside there. Now, who knows? Maybe Mattel just made it clean so they didn't have to put the decals on there but I'd be interested to see what it would look like if you took this accessory off and just see a clean film or that'd be pretty interesting if you ask me so that really is all for the Stanley Days film over here. I also really like the expression because you can see his mouth. I mean, with mostly every other version of film you can't see his mouth at all. So definitely my favorite version of film And let me know in the comment section below what version of film is your favorite after I show the rest of them here. And so here we have the Star Wars version of Fillmore, Fillmore as Yoda, which I feel like, I don't know, I think Doc, since he's more of a wise personality, would have made a better Fillmore, but all that being said, I think the model that Fillmore is being the microbus definitely fits with Yoda. So I'm happy that they chose this. I would have also been happy with Doc, but you know, Doc is Obi-Wan Kenobi is also a great choice, even though I don't even really watch the Star Wars movies, but I need to really badly. But I love the kind of rubbery, flexible mirrors on the side here. You got a painted VW logo right there, a license plate, which actually does have some writing on it there. Or no, it just says a kind of design on it. I would assume that relates to Star Wars somehow. And you can see that he's all dirty on the front here. He looks tired because the eyes are squinted. He's got this kind of two-tone color here with brown and a beige. He's got kind of a nice pattern up here with the green checkerboard like. And on the back here, you can see his license plate actually reads something, but that looks like it's in Star Wars language or some sort of uh, galactic or I don't know what to call it, universe language, I don't really know. But yeah, that's definitely not English or any other language on this world. So that really is all for him. Now I'd just like to show you the Disney Store variations or at least the ones I'd have because the Disney Store made some pretty awesome variations of Fillmore. As you can see here is like a tie-dye version of him. You can see the swirls. Now I love this version of Fillmore as well. It looks awesome. I just feel like, you know, Fillmore can have so many more variations and the Disney Store have really taken advantage of that. I mean, there's a bunch of them that I have in the package here that I don't show in this video right now because they're kind of packed away for now. But you, know, you can see how creative the Disney Store gets with some of these versions right here. I mean, you got a hot rod, Fillmore right here. I mean, can, can you even picture Fillmore as a hot rod? I mean, you don't have to because he's right here. The Disney Store made him and they even made a metallic version of him. It just looks phenomenal. So that's all for the variations of Fillmore. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite version of Fillmore. It could be any of the ones I showed in this video. I mean, I could see someone going for one of the Disney Store versions because they look so cool. But my favorite version is still the Stanley Days version on the right here. So thank you, the Carla, for the suggestion. I hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully I will be able to review the precision set of Luigi's Casa del Tires or Saturday because it should arrive tomorrow, get the review out. I'm super excited to checking it out. I mean, I'm, uh, it's such an awesome set from the pictures I've seen. So enough rambling, see you guys later, bye now.